What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going inside the original James Bond house from 1920s. Kelly Wessler recently, or maybe not recently, purchased this house and interior designed her himself. She is going to walk us through this incredible house. There are so many art features, sculptures, stunning view, amazing pool and so many interesting rooms with different colour schemes. Quickly before we do that, can I please ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will post so many more videos like this every single day. Also please feel free to follow me on Instagram and other social media platforms. Now with that further to do, let's start. Oh my god, look at that entrance. Oh, that flooring. Oh, can I pause it there? Look at this. This is stunning. Oh. I love how white and bright this house is with all the greenery around it. I think they shoot it in a perfect day as well because you can see how bright and sunny that day is. Oh, those windows and everything. Oh, it's just beautiful. Family who created James Bond. So the house has so much incredible Hollywood history. Wonderful. Yeah, so people, uh, the producer of James Bond, the original James Bond, used to live here. So they used to have so many parties here, and it's just an iconic house. And the fact that she, um, Kelly bought this house and redecorated it and changed some of the architectural features is just incredible. I mean, look at this outdoor space. I mean, those shades, oh, they're just so stunning. It feels like you're in south of France or somewhere, especially with those tall trees at the back as well. I love it. This is the entrance oh. vestibule. I love this mirror because it looks like oh my God. gum. This nice. is actually an exhaust pipe. So if you guys don't know Kelly, you should go and research her. She's one of my icons in interior design and she's really into her fashion as well. But she is just amazing because she is doing, obviously, she runs her interior design company, but she creates and produces all these amazing and incredible furniture as well. So I have used so many of her um, dining tables and dining chairs in my projects. They're very expensive but they're very good quality. They're kind of very art statement pieces so it's not something you put in a regular house. But um, you know they're very cool and I admire her for doing all of these. Okay, like this chair is amazing. My favourite window in the house. Oh. God, look at this room, it's so nice again. I love how, you know, she kept the classical architectural details, as in the wall panelings, you know, the thresholds when, where you're walking, the cornice details on the ceiling, and I love the wall sconces, um, they're just so cool. And, you know, it's very artist, like gallery. Obviously, most of the things in this room are her own um, products and furniture, but it's just so cool, like everything comes together very nice and I love that dark dark it looks like it's a herringbone pattern you can see here um flooring it's just gorgeous a gift from one of my favorite artists Katie Stout cabinet by the Oh I love this room as well I love the curved wall and the fluting detail that is very trendy recently it's coming back um I mean it's been original um way of doing, um, you know, the curve walls and the fluted, so it's like a traditional way of um, architectural detail, but it's coming back now again, and it, I think it's, it's just fabulous. An artist, Patrick Scholes. The kitchen. Oh my god, um, shall I go back? Sorry, we missed the kitchen. Cabinet by Belgian artist Patrick Scholes. The kitchen. Oh my god, look at this kitchen. <gasps> Those windows, the cabinetry, is everything. Stainless steel, yes, it looks like everything is stainless steel with these aged brass details. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. This is very me because I do like brass because I like and I, and I like yellow and mustard, so this is very much my type of kitchen. I love the marble calicata um, top, um, I love this extractor. Oh, you know, you got this wall mounted taps to fill out your big pasta bowl, it's just stunning. Oh, I want this house. Look at those windows at the back. That's a perfect place to have your morning um, cup of tea or, you know, lunch. 
gorgeous. Wallpaper, oh my photos. god. My espresso machine. And this is what the back kitchen. Again, very cool. I love these spray painted cabinets. To this, the color kind of looks like a mix of petrol blue with some grey. Um, it's just so cool. And this marble, oh my god, do you guys in love with this marble? Please let me know in the comments below. I mean, look at the green and the grains, the browns. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. And it's a very good to be able to have a back kitchen or a butler's kitchen or a butler pantry because um, things you don't want to see like the coffee machine microwave or you know the bigger ovens you kind of put them all at the back there so when you're doing the prep and the proper cooking everything's um, gonna happen there and your main kitchen would be you know just to put everything together and then so then you um, it's just clean it and it's not smelly Oh. This room used to be the courtyard. Oh my god, again this room is so so you can you can feel the architectural history in this house. I mean look at those handrails here. They're just so incredible. They kind of look like art deco but um refinished. Uh, they're just gorgeous. Obviously these are all Kelly's um this is Kelly's sofa. Um these uh, it says where they are from. Um, but it's just so cool and the art piece there as well. I mean, it's very kind of like a gallery and Yeah, so I wouldn't say this is a good house for small kids because they're probably gonna you know run into things and break things I mean look at this bedside table. I mean, it's very sharp um, But you know oh, those balcony doors with those handles So gorgeous. I probably would have had some curtains or something in this room it kind of looks a bit slightly bare And I'm not sure about that massive TV in here but overall, it's just gorgeous. We recreated the railing from photos wow. of the original house from the 1920s. Pretty. This room is like my mini art gallery. Oh my god, yeah, this is a proper art gallery. Is this a dining room? I mean, I don't want to eat on this table because it looks so good and so expensive that you kind of don't want to put any hot plates or split, you know, any food or drinks on it because you, you'd be scared. These chairs are very cool as well. They look very very heavy because of these um, solid metal legs. I love this mirror. I'm not sure about this massive art piece in the middle of the room. Not in the middle of the room but inside this house. It kind of looks like an outdoor piece to me but it just it, it is a gorgeous room. Again I would have liked to have some um, window dressing or curtains or something there to warm it up. My rock and zen disco ball. That is so cool. I'm gonna show you some more pictures of here. Is um, with a um, amazing hand painted wallpaper. It's so cool. This is the master bedroom, and in the 1920s, this was the. It's very cool. Again, it's very plain and neutral. Um, yeah, I will probably. It, it will. Need, it needs some art pieces. It needs some color, some plants. And I assume there is again no curtains in this room, so again some curtains. But it looks like kind of she just moved in or something. But it is gorgeous. Again, this bed is amazing. It's not my style, it's not something I would buy. But I appreciate how incredible it is and the design and the history behind it. Very cool. In this closet used to be the bar. <laughs> amazing. The original marble bathroom. Oh my god. This is again incredible that they keep the original marbles. Again, it's not my taste because you know it's just the pink and purples and burnt oranges, and it's got feminine. Uh, um, but again, it's very busy. Like I wouldn't, yeah, I would have probably changed it. But again, with a house like this that got so much history, you don't want to change it, and you definitely don't want to rip all of these out. Uh, and you sort of need to work along with it. So I probably would have, I don't know, covered, covered it with some big art pieces or something. So you would less, you see less of the pink maybe if you didn't like the pink. A lot of people do, but I love this uh, little metal detail here as well. And you got a little makeup area here and a sink, I'd say. California drink. <sighs> yes, I can absolutely see this area back in 1920s where they were entertaining, having lots of parties, you know, inviting all the original Hollywood 
royalties and oh you know this is amazing for entertainment I mean but she's got like two or three kids as well so this is like her family home I guess but you know lucky kids imagine the TikTok videos you can make with that background <laughs> so I have found some more cool um, photos on the website as well that we're gonna go through them now this is the first photo wow so this is her entrance where she was standing but this is like when it's more finished this is incredible I mean look at those marble flooring I love how it sort of replicates that ceiling it just in architecturally it's just incredible I love the black entrance doors and I love how everything's kind of white and neutral but then at the back you see that hand painted crazy you know wall wall covering um, it's just incredible it just draws your attention towards it so here you can see that amazing hat mural we call it um, it's just incredible I mean yeah and that black handrail everything I think it works really well with the rock she picked um, and the runner on a on this actual staircase and that sculpture again very well thought through and I'm loving it so this is I don't know it's somewhere again very cool I love the marble flooring it looks like there's some metal trims there I love the sculptures it's very cool again she's using a lot of outdoor sculptures inside which is interesting um, I probably would have, wouldn't have done this but again it's her house she can do whatever she wants but it's very cool I love these I love the doors and the detail at the top of the doors how it kind of steps in it's very cool this is one of her sitting rooms or study again love it love it how it's different from the rest of the house it's suddenly much warmer it feels like you're in a different house love the wooden paneling you know the paneling go all the way on the ceiling as well you got the planks uh, wood planks on it on the ceiling I can see some hidden doors here on the right because they got the handle um, I don't know where it's going though because there is a sofa in front of it I think this is a study again it's incredible I think a lot of you know you can see this is how she designed you lots of statement art gallery kind of features and that's what she's famous for but again it's very it's not necessarily my style like this is way too much for me I would not be able to work in this room um, but it's very cool and I guess it's a yeah when you bring your clients or guests to this room you know they will be vowed basically so, so this is I think another seating room I love that ceiling Again, it's very cool how if every room looks so different. It feels like you're in a, suddenly in a different house. Again, not necessarily my cup of tea, but I love how everything works together. Like, I'll be happy to stay there um, if it's like a hotel or something. But again, you know, I think the orange works really well with the black and the gold details on that armchair. Everything just, I think, very cool and bonkers, but it, but it works, which is cool. And next photo, I think it's one of the bedrooms. Again, incredible, all wall panelled. Um, all the walls are panelled in wood. They probably are original and they just refinished it. It just, yeah, it looks very cool. It's very masculine, masculine looking actually. And um, yeah, I think here they finally have some Roman blinds. They call these, um, these blinds. Um, it's very cool. I love this glass. With the antique, it's a um, sorry antique mirrored cabinet as well. It's very cool. Another bedroom. Is it like a kids' room because they got this little ball here on the floor again? It's very Kelly. You know I love this bed. It's bonkers. They have this wallpaper on the ceiling. That's something you don't usually do unless you Kelly. <laughs> um, again, I I love the blue. It all works together. Again, not my style, but. It looks very good and this is again another bonkers bedroom it's like every room got its own theme color so this is obviously the yellow room or mustard room again I love those wall paneling um, sorry wallpapers they look very nice and you can see here they have run blinds and they have the curtains in front of it which I guess is run all the way across and that wall would just be like a wall of curtains which would be nice actually I like this bed itself as well I think it's very cool some mid-century it's like an upside down mushroom 
Yeah, it's very arty. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you would like more of these, please click on either of these boxes. And there are so many more videos on my channel, so please go and check them out. Until next time, ciao!